Hi all and welcome back to another exciting RP training video. Today we are going to learn how to extract data from multiple table using document automation. So this feature has recently been rolled out by Automation Anywhere and it is now available with enterprise user as well as the community user in Automation 360. In this training video, I will walk you through the entire process step by step and help you on understanding how you can extract data from multiple table. Before start, we kindly ask you for your support by subscribing this channel. And if you find this video is helpful and informative, then don't forget to click on the like button. It really helps us and motivate us on creating more and more informative content like this. So let's start. So I have uh, created two sample files and here we can see we have informations available. Uh, basically, this is an invoice where we can see we have an in invoice number, date, contact person. And along with this, we have two table also available like product table one and product table two. Okay, so in the same other PDF also, I have kept two table which we can see here table uh, product table one and product table two. So we are going to understand how it can be done. So we are going to extract information such as invoice number, invoice date, along with this two table, which is present here. I have already created a couple of videos based on document automations from the scratch. So if you want to see those videos, so you can find the link of those video in this video description section. So now, let me go to the document automation and start the process. So I'm using community edition and in order to access document automation. So you have to click here in the open document automation button and it will take you to the document automation page. So here we can see I have already created a couple of learning instances. So which is available here now. I'm going to create a new learning instance and we will do the training. So Let's create a learning instance. So let's click here and let's put a learning instance name as multi table data extraction. So you can put a description which is optional and rest I will keep it as it is and click on the next. So from form field, I want to extract invoice number and the invoice date. So rest I will remove it and I will just keep it invoice number and invoice date and now in the table I want to uh, extract data from my both the table which is available here so now we can see here once we come to the table section we can see this drop down option along with this plus symbol so earlier this option was not available so in case if you have a single table so we can go with this one or if you have a multiple table so in that case, you have to just click on the plus symbol and you have to design your table. So for our case, we have this product table one and product table two. So we'll go with this name only. So it will help us on understand like which data is from which table. So let's click on the add button. And now here we have to add the field which we want to extract or the column name. So for our case, I want this code item description, all the fields. So let's do that. So I'm just keeping all the column as required and the confidence percentage as 80% and the data type I'm just keeping by default as text. So it's up to you if you want to change the data type or the confidence percent or the uh, column type as required or optional, you can do that. You can also add the aliases. So these things I have already explained in my uh, previous videos. If you want to understand those things, so you can refer to those videos. So after adding the fill, let's click on this add button so for this table one we have successfully added all the field now let's do the same thing for table two so let's keep a table two name is product table two
okay so we have done with the both the table so we can see here if you select the table you can see the field names are getting changed based on the table so let me click on the create button so the learning instance got created now once we upload this document so there are chances this document will process completely or it might go to the validator to validate the output in case because we kept everything as required so this document auto uh, document automation will try to find all the table as well as the form field data okay, from the pdf which we are going to upload in case if it is not able to find any of the value from the form field or the table field then it will send that document into the validator so intentionally i have kept this uh, field as required because when we upload or train any document for the first time so we have to make sure we are like you know manually we are just validating the the mapping part where the document automation is automatically map the data correctly or not because here we cannot see any options like uh, do the training manually what we had in iq board so here there is no direct options available however if you want to make sure whether the mapping has done correctly or not for that what you have to do you have to add a field a dummy field or any field like test field and there you have to keep that field as a required field so bot will try to find that field value however it will be not available in the document so by default it will send into the validator so let's understand in more detail so let's say i have uploaded this document and bot is able to find all the information available in the pdf so i can either validate this data with the help of output which document automation document automation will generate or if it will go to the validator then only i can see it so if it will process successfully then it will not send this document to the validator but i want to make sure this has been trained correctly so there may be a chances bot can uh, pick this quantity or maybe it, it will not pick the quantity or rate or maybe like we have four lines it can pick only two lines or three lines something like that right so in order to avoid those issues we have to use a trick and we have to create a field let's say the test field and we'll keep this field as a mandatory or a required which will be not available in the document and by default the document will go to the validator and from validator we can see and we can make the changes so let's do that before uploading the document so i'm just opening this learning instance and here i'm just creating a field called let's say test field and this i'll keep as required and let's click, click on the update all right so now our learning instance is ready once we upload the document it will start the process so i'm just going to the folder and let's take the path and also we have to give the output path if the document process successfully then it will give the output here so let's click on the process document so initially it will take some time and process the document so when you create the learning instance for the first time it will take some good amount of time to create the learning instance and the required tasks which it will create in the back end so once you refresh it and if you click on the view status so we can see here it will take you to the re page and the request has been created so we can see here this currently it is showing uh, as a open because this is uh, processing our request it will take some time and once it will done so we can see the uh, the request has been closed or completed it will show like that or if you if the document will go to the validator so we can see this validate document count uh, here it should be like you know one or two how many documents will go to the validator based on that so let's wait and see because initially this it will take some time we can see the document has been processed successfully and it moved to validation stage if you come here and refresh it so we can see this validate document is showing as one 
so i have uploaded a single document because it is not allowing us to upload multiple document and the document is moved to validation if you click here it will open a page to see the document all right so now we can see the details like the document name and the invoice and if you have to open in full screen you can open like this and this invoice number and the invoice date has been mapped successfully and the test field which we have created intentionally to move this document into validator it's showing as it, it cannot be empty now come to the table section product table one and two so there is no data board is not able to extract uh, any data from this both table so why it not able to extract it because we have created our own field and the document automation was not able to identify any of the field so in this type of scenario what we have to do we have to manually map the table or the form field where board is not able to extract the data so let's do that for table one so i want to map this data so you have to just click here and select the value which you want to map so similarly for item and quantities for every record in initially we have to do this manually so when we do these things manually so document automation will learn from our these tapes and the next time when we upload the document it will try to extract the data so we have mapped the first row so let's say i want to add uh, other rows also which is available in the table so we have to just add the row and map the value so we'll do the same thing for the second table so in case if you have more number of items so there is no need for mapping all the rows as we have only uh, four records available in both the tables so i'm just mapping it if you have more numbers then you can like you know keep it at least four to five uh, rows which you can do it manually and after that you have to just uh, upload this document or you can click on the submit so i'll show you that also so let me do this table also okay so we have mapped successfully everything and for this test field it by default it takes something so let's put a test value now we can see this error is gone now and we have mapped all the value from both the tables now we have to just click on the submit button so once you click on the submit button so document automation will try to learn this training or the mapping whatever we have done manually so let's close this and let's refresh this so now we can see the document has been moved out from the validation queue and you often if you open this re request and there you can see this process has been completed and here if you see the details so we can see it was in validation queue and after that it downloaded the csv and the request got closed so if i go to the folder you can see the success folder has got created and if you open this so we have all the data available here so if i expand this so we can see the data from the first tables and you can see this table name which is available and this is invoice number so with the help of this column name only we can understand like this uh, code is from table one and the item description is table one so similarly for table two also so this way this document automation will learn uh, from the human behavior like uh, the way we have done the training and it will help us on getting the data now let's say i want to extract uh, uh, data from this table two and i want to upload it once again so let's see whether it is working or not so this is a process of like you know uploading the document and validating whether 
it has mapped correctly or it is giving the correct data or not if not then you have to retrain it multiple times because this invoice too we haven't trained it so i'm just uploading it to see whether it is processing or not so let me upload this so we can see the process got started and now this document is in open state and now the document automation is processing this document so by default it will go to the validator because we have kept a test field as mandatory so once your document is trained completely and when you feel the document automation is giving you the correct output after your training then you can remove that test field otherwise every document will go to the uh, validator okay so when your training is completed and if you want to move this process into the production so make sure you are removing all the unnecessary field from your learning instance otherwise it will create a problem for you because it will send all the document into the validator for human review okay so we can see this uh, invoice to automatically map all the table data we can see here and it looks correct only because i have done the training one time manually for both the tables now it is able to extract all the information but we kept this test field as mandatory so it is just uh, uh, like you know asking us to uh, remove this error because because of this only the document came to the validator so you can put anything here and after that you can just click on the submit so once you click on the submit it will send that document into this success folder okay so so this is the complete step or the a process of like you know extracting data from multiple table so in case if you have any question or any suggestion or any topic which you want me to create a video for that so i'm requesting you to kindly put into the comment section or you can send me an email also with the details for this topic you want me to create a video or anything which you want me to create a specific video for a particular topic i'll be happy to do that so yeah that's all from this video thank you so much for watching this video thank you